ella baila, usted baila, nosotros bailamos, nosotras bailamos, ellos bailan, ellas bailan, ustedes bailan. Bien, and then that's out of the way, how about I kiss you? To build your confidence, let's do some Spanish to English first. Okay, so I'll give you some sentences in Spanish and you can translate them into English. And after that, we'll do it the other way. If you need to, check out the word then if you forgot what word means. El estudia. He studies. Tu trabajas en el museo. You work at the museum. You work in a museum. Yo canto mal. I sing poorly. They do my life bien. Nosotros no ayudamos en casa. We not help around the house. Usted toca la guitarra. La clase termina a las tres y media. Remember that we can also use the he or she word for it. A class with an it, not he or she in English, but in Spanish, they would be considered to be a she actually. And we'll go over that in a different video. Now, you go ahead and translate them down into Spanish. Next platform. Try at least to get the verb changed correctly. But if you get the whole sentence, that would be genial. That's for great. I'm going to give all of them to you at once, and then we'll go step by step and break them down and answer them. So we have, we cook a lot. They talk on the phone. I work in the store. Do you cook very well? You dance bad and poorly. He swims a little. We study science. They need pencils. I play guitar. The Lord has listened to music at night. Okay, so you might pause the video, see if you can figure out all these for the best you can, and then we'll go over them in a second. Okay, we cook a lot. Nosotros cocinamos mucho. Now, this specify if it were we the girls only. If that were the case, then it would be nosotras cocinamos mucho. They talk on the phone. Ellas hablan por teléfono. I work in the store. Yo trabajo en la tienda. Do you cook very well? Now, if you remember, usted is the formal you. So, in this one, we'd ask, usted cocina muy bien. You dance poorly. Now, this one, we notice that, this is the familiar for the person I know, so this is the two form. Tu bailas mal. He sweats a little. El nada un poco. We study science too. Nosotros estudiamos las ciencias también. They need some pencils. Ellos necesitan unos lápices. I play guitar. Yo toco la guitarra. Dolores listens to music at night. Dolores escucha música por la noche. Hopefully you did well. Now, whenever I ask a question, remember the following relationships. If I ask a question, the two words stand for, for example, tu bailas, or usted baila, you would answer in the yo form. So you would say either si, yo bailo, no, yo no bailo. Remember that? If I ask a question about el o ella, for example, canta bien el, you will still answer in the el o ella form, because we're still talking about he or she. So, si. El canta bien. No, el no canta bien. Likewise, if I were to ask a question about ellos or ellas, toca la guitarra ellas, I still won't change the verb because in this answer we're still talking about ellos or ellas. Si, ellas tocan la guitarra. No, ellas no tocan la guitarra. Finally, if I ask a question in the ustedes form, ustedes trabajan mucho, you would have to answer in the nosotros form or the nosotras form. Because I'm asking about you all, so you'll need to answer in the we. Si, trabajamos mucho. No, no trabajamos mucho. Now, if you caught it in the very last example, I didn't have the word no soaps there. If you're not sure why, how about we take a look at the verb hablar in all the different forms? Remember, hablar means to speak or to talk. Now, if you notice, the yo form, to form, and the soaps form don't really have multiple meanings, like Elia usted and Elia usted. So we don't really need 
can't take credit for this, it's not my own. But if somebody wants to object, the verb tells the story. This means that because the verb changes in the different forms, we have a much better idea of who is doing the action than we do in English. Now, if it is clear what we're talking about, I can also leave out the a usted and a yostias instead. So if we're talking about someone already, for example, let's imagine that you and I are having a conversation. You tell me, Felipe toca la guitarra. Okay? I might want to add something about Felipe that I know. And I could say, he él canta bien, también. Okay? He and he sings well too. Or because we both know we're talking about Felipe, I could just say, he canta bien, también, and leave the out. Okay, so you might notice in the yo to and nosotros, especially are often left out for el y a usted, el y a ustedes, you can also leave those out as long as we know what we're talking about. In the, in the future videos, and also in the Spanish language, if you listen to it, you might not always hear the yo or the two or the, the rest of these pronouns. Okay, hope this makes sense. Feel free to shoot me any questions, comments, suggestions, if you can help. Adios. Okay. Uh, you, you might, uh, it is kind of funny, but I can tell you this. Uh, I think this guy is doing a really good job because he has an ability to explain things very, very well. So, do you think this is a, something you would use? So every once in a while we're going to use it in class, some of these videos, and then it give you the website, and there's going to be a few times uh, throughout the semester where I'm going to assign homeworks, homework, and I'm going to tell you to go to the website, and you're going to have to copy, uh, go over the material that you want to, okay? Uh, again, what we do in the classroom is not enough. You know, we need to, uh, it is important to take the experience outside of the classroom because uh, it reinforces uh, what we're learning. Uh, so we'll be doing this and a few other things with uh, technology, with video. Okay, we're not, we're not done yet. We still have a little bit of time left. Uh, can we go ahead and turn on the lights, please? All right, hay uh, preguntas. Are there any questions about this? No, no hay preguntas. Okay, vamos a practicar, practicar brevemente, briefly, something that you guys are very familiar with, and this is probably the last thing, one of the last things that we're going to do today. Uh, do you guys know how to greet people in uh, Spanish? If you lived in the U.S. for the last five years, it is almost impossible not to know some of these things, right? Even if you never had Spanish. How do you say, uh, so, greetings are? Saludos. Saludos. How would you say hi? Hola. Hola. Let's do this together. Hola. How would you say... ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Cómo se dice? And what's another way to greet someone? Buenos días. Buenos días. Buenos días. It is... Good morning. So since we're here, buenos días. What do you do with that? Buenas tardes. Okay. Buenas noches es muy interesante porque buenas noches es buenas noches cuando llegas, when you arrive, and buenas noches when you exit. As opposed to English, right, that you have good evening and en español es siempre buenas, right, buenas, right, noches. Uh, is there any other way to say hello when you meet someone? Just hola is the only one? How about... Que tal? Que tal? Right? Que tal? What's up? What's going on? What's another way to say what's going on? There's a silly concept. Que pasa? Excelente. What's passing? What's happening? Que pasa? Awesome. Right. What is the following? Is that, like, what's that word? It is, there are 